This week in Star Citizen, the anniversary sale starts tomorrow, Carrick sale dates have been announced, Sandy leaks more images via Facebook, CIG announces their event schedule, a new video from Corporation Incorporated, the Baron himself sets a new world record, Avenger variants are in the works, a new episode of Around the Verse, and 1.0 is planned for early slash mid-December. Hello citizens and welcome to the UENN, the United Earth Empire News Network. I'll be posting to this channel every single week with news from the Star Citizen universe, so feel free to subscribe for future updates. Let's get started today with the anniversary announcement that was announced earlier this week and starts tomorrow. Ben has stated that the sale will last all week and showcase some previously limited ships such as the Super Hornet and the Caterpillar. He has confirmed that ships will not include LTI, but honor their two-year anniversary sale with all ships being sold during this period having two-year insurance. All prices will also be the same as last year. Ben has stated on several occasions that the Idris and Scythe will not be available. However, captured chat screenshots say otherwise. Brace your wallets. Shortly following the end of the anniversary sale, the Karak will go on sale on the 28th. The Karak is a potential metagame of the Explorer type. It is expected to cost several hundred dollars, and since it is a concept sale, will likely come with lifetime insurance. Next in news, Sandy has continued to leak more photos on her Facebook page. But before that, stay tuned for a word from our sponsors. Today's episode of the UENN is sponsored in part by the new Drake Herald. Armored, fast, and encrypted, this is what you want. Nay, this is what you need if you want sensitive information transferred successfully across the galaxy from point A to B. See your authorized ship dealer today. Welcome back to the UENN. As promised before, we have pictures from Sandy's Facebook page. What you're seeing on screen right now is the picture that Sandy leaked via her Facebook page. Many speculate that this is a new type of mining droid. Also in news, we have an updated roster from CIG. They have posted everything that they're going to be doing over the next year, including PAX, PAX East, Gamescom, and a few others. Corporation Incorporated created a brand new video showcasing the beauty that is the Vandal Glaive. Be sure to check out his channel and subscribe to him. In racing news, Bad News Baron set a new Stanley Cup record. Congrats to him. Video is in the link in the description down below. In other news, the Avenger variants and their concepts are now complete. Ben has confirmed that they will stand out more than the Cutlass variants did to their predecessors as they received much criticism on the topic. A new episode of Around the Verse dropped last night and a few nice tidbits of information were revealed including a complete MAX OXX 40mm cannon pictured here, work on a new civilian variant of the Javelin Battlecruiser, Ben also confirmed that the prototyping for the Gladius is nearing completion, and we're hoping that it'll arrive in 1.0. Speaking of 1.0, last up in news today, during this week's 10 for the Chairman, Chris Roberts mentioned that the goal for 1.0 is early slash mid-December. Many hopeful citizens think that new ships that will be flyable might include the Mustang, the Avenger, the Gladius, and the Aurora variants, as well as many new Arena Commander weapons. Looks like we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been the UENN. If you guys aren't fully satisfied with today's stories, there's some more stories down in the description below that did not make the headlines, as well as the stories in today's video. Be sure to subscribe for future updates, and thanks for watching.